All right, chapter six. Um, this is where we start our fight back, uh, where everything gets a little bit easier, at least typically gets easier for most students. Uh, chapter five itself is kind of difficult because it, it deals with a bunch of things that, you know, take a lot of practice and it's very, very specific. Uh, chapter six is one of those things where, you know, as long as you can fix your mistakes, as long as you can practice and use the homework to practice, uh, I don't see a reason why you can't uh, get an A or B on this test easily. So today our job is to review one step equations, which is one week of work that we did, actually about four days worth of work that we did uh, to attempt to eliminate small errors that we're expected to make while remembering. So uh, last quarter, uh, we started with addition subtraction problems. We learned that in order to move a value that's being added or subtracted, we use the opposite operation to make it easy. Again, I simply stated you should simply write the opposite operation under a value. So uh, this is the one where it asked you what values with X and we would say 95 and if you want to move that 95 which is being added we simply put in minus 95 here minus 95 there we brought down our X because that went away and if you don't know what 43 and minus 95 is you have a couple of options you could put 43 minus 95 or you could put 43 plus because you're combining them a negative 95 and again that negative button being down there <clears throat> Either way, your answer is negative 52. It's going to be important for you to remember that your negative button's here and your minus button is there. So whenever you're doing that, you got to make sure you uh, pick the right uh, response for whatever you're going to be typing. On the other one, again, if you had negative 28 equals x minus 32, the number with x is negative 32. And I want you to do that because I need you to recognize that that's a negative number. And how do you move a negative 32? That is by making it a positive 32 and so if you were to type this in that is a negative 28 not minus 28 but a negative 28 plus 32 which gives us the answer of 4 you actually probably could have done that using the uh, black and white game or the plus minus game that we usually do where the positives win by 4 however you would view that but again that's all you have to do again very important that you make sure to keep your X on the proper side do not just move your X over to the other side just because you want to after that, we spent today with multiplication problems. The trick with multiplication problems is to identify it based off of how it looks. Um, when you see the number and variable attached with no visible sign, it means they're being multiplied. Now, hopefully after the work we've been doing, you've been kind of getting used to that, but it's very important that you can identify it immediately. So on MathXL, when you go to move it, we actually use the division sign. So I'll show you, uh, both ways I guess on this to make sure so on math XL we use division sign but on paper we're going to start to use the formal notation so this is 13 times X equals negative 117 again on math XL you'll put divided by 13 divided by 13 bringing down the X and figuring out what negative 117 divided by 13 is which is negative 9 now on paper as you keep moving forward you will just simply put divided by 13 divided by 13 that's the formal way to do it but again you can't really show that on math excel so we use a division sign but you usually see it written this way so on paper feel free to start writing it like that just make sure on math excel you know you have to use a division sign 68 equals 17 x again 17's with x so we want to divide to get rid of that 17 I believe the answer is 4 equals x again divide there but again if you are on paper the standard way to do it is to say divided by 17 divided by 17 and then get your answer there from that answer all right and then to wrap up one step equations we looked at division problems we understood the operation was division because we talked about how the fraction line is a division line uh, we talked about using the opposite operation which is multiplication to eliminate that value and again on math XL we did something different and the way we showed multiplication for that is to simply put parentheses around the value. Now, you actually will continue to do that. Uh, just make sure, again, if you get stuck on your homework, that you continue to ask for help or start to ask for help, whatever one of those two is necessary for you, so you can see what you need to see. Um, but when you see x over 13 equals negative 8, that's x divided by 13, which means we move the 13 by multiplying by 13. The 13s cancel. x comes down negative 8 times 13 again you can type what you see negative 8 parentheses 13 close or negative 8 times 13 however you want to do that you still get the answer of negative 104 which is going to be your answer 24 equals x over 7 again that's x divided by 7 so we multiply by 7 
to move it. 24 times 7 is 168. The sevens go away, giving us just X. So that is what we did so far. This quarter, though, to make things more realistic, we are you already see that we're doing negatives, but we're also going to be dealing with decimals. So that shift shouldn't be an issue since we've been working with larger values, and since we've been using larger values, it's required you to use your calculator. Decimals also require you to use your calculator, so just take your time. Be careful not to mistype anything. In other words, make sure you read what you typed in so you know you didn't type something in wrong. Um, but again, I don't think it should be an issue because decimals are the same as large numbers. So you have to use your calculator. Just use it. X minus 14.7 equals negative 9.6. The negative 14.7 is with X. And the way we move it is by adding 14.7. X comes down. That goes away. And again, typing it in, that's a negative 9.6 plus 14.7 which gives us the answer of 5.1. The calculator does the work in terms of making sure you get the right answer, but you have to make sure you know what you need to do to get there. Negative 95.1 equals X plus 14.3. The number with X is 14.3. It's a positive 14.3, so we want to move it by making it a negative 14.3. And again, there's two ways to type this in. You could put, I'll move this where you can see it, negative 95.1 minus 14.3 or as I said you could do negative 95.1 plus negative 14.3 whatever way works best for you just make sure you practice either way you get negative 109.4 for your answer of X If you had 17.2x equals negative 139.32, the number with x is 17.2. They're being multiplied because they're directly attached. So we divide by 17.2. x comes down because those two things go away. And all you have to do is type in negative 139.32 divided by 17.2 to get the answer of negative 8.1. Again, you might not like how the numbers look, but for the most part, as long as you know how to use your calculator, you should be okay. And we have been working on that in class, so hopefully you've been doing the same thing on your own. Uh, 6.3 equals x over 5.1. Again, that's divided by 5.1. So we want to multiply by 5.1 here. All you have to do is 6.3 times 5.1, which is 32.13. Gives me my answer for X. So take your time again, but understand we're only going to review this for one day. Tomorrow we're going to review the second part. And honestly, Wednesday is your test. So, you know, that's where you want to make sure you take advantage of this stuff because it is a quick turnaround from a homework to test this week. So make sure you're working, make sure you're doing what you need to do. And again, make sure you're emailing questions if you have them. Outside of that, good luck. I'll talk to you later.